Hello guys and welcome back. We are here for round number two. So we will be uh, looking to get started with the rest of the Battle Arena scrims for tonight. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, we are actually playing Erangel first uh, for, before we alternate to um, the Mirror Mar matches here. So um, yeah, I think we are almost ready to get started, guys. Um, I think uh, we do already have... Uh, Everyone in. I think there's just a concern of whether or not there was uh, other team members uh, that are in here. And uh, I'd just like to apologize in the last game. Um, team list wasn't updated for um, squad number two. So actually, it is Team Padu Madu who is playing, not Arrow Wolf. So, uh, yep, I do apologize for that one. Uh, but anyways, we should get started pretty soon here for round number two. Okay, and we are loading in. Okay, and uh, we are almost ready to get started with round number two, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, it is gonna be Erangel here, so not Miramar just yet. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see how this one is gonna turn out. So the plane looks as though it'll be from the military base all the way up to uh, a little bit to the northwest here. Uh, see how that one turns out. So yeah, again guys, thank you so much for sharing the stream, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support, and again, a big shout out to Han Wing for donating 95 stars. You're awesome, man. Um, but yeah, we should get started in just a little bit here. I do think that <laughs> there is a little mix up with some of the, the squads here. Um, but anyways, I think it the game will still be progressing in any case here. Okay guys, so we are going to get started for this next round. Okay guys, so now we are seeing already that the there are quite a number of teams all deciding to drop out here. I think there's uh, three or four of them already. Team Quacker here. Uh, I think this is going to be also QWERTY dropping here. And uh, we already see um, this is going to be Bungie Nun Gaming. Uh, so they're also going to drop here. Squad 11, actually Koyak Gaming, going to go towards Primorsk here. Fairy Pier, we will be seeing um, the Drink Coffee first. Uh, as well as the Undisputed guys. Now, over here, uh, we do have uh, Bursatu Powerhouse going for the central region as they are going to be joined together with uh, FFG, if not mistaken here. And uh, ooh, Seo Park Choi is uh, in here as well for uh, Team Suicide. So Pochinki does only have uh, the team members from Feed and Feed. Uh, Squad 13 over here, this is Dream Team, uh, together with the team members of Six Gaming. We see that... Uh, 
Over here, Red Sea is going for their traditional Rozog as they did give it a miss uh, in the last game. Uh, Squad 1 as well as MBT are dropping here in this region here. But Rexen going all the way here. I think he was a little bit AFK and maybe Allen's as well for Dream Team here. So now we will have uh, Team AG going all the way to Severny here. So they were there last time. And it looks like it's going to be a kind of central but also pushing down here towards the south side. Now the other uh, squad members over here are actually um, bugging out here for um, drink coffee first. So they're just grabbing the vehicles here and denying that or undisputed. But they don't have to worry too much at this point in time here as rotation should be manageable for them. Now, of course, we have to see how the second circle is going to shape up because it could mean that uh, Military Island might be a feature here. Now in the apartment complex next to school here, we already see that... Uh, Crack Jr. here, going to duke it out with uh, Team 1. Team 1 only having Zorako and uh, John C. Nobody here uh, at the moment here. As uh, two of them, as we do see in the school, there is a little bit of presence here. As Legendary X7, X9 here, going to go at it with... Uh, um, but it looks as though Kex is able to get the knock here and takes out Legendary X9. So uh, I think Legendary X9 might not have been one of the intended team members here. And oh, it looks as though John C. Nobody and uh, Zoraku here under pressure here. As uh, I, I cry Sim here, able to get that early knock here. But John C. Nobody going to watch here as he's able to mow down uh, I cry Sim here. And that's going to be it for the Quack Jr. player. The rest should be forthcoming here. Now in Yasnaya, we already see that uh, Quacker here opting to go all the way here for... No, this is Team Padu Madu here. Going for the southern region here of uh, Yasnaya, Yongjang, and the rest of uh, Model Esport only just arriving here themselves. But now in Rosok, we already see that Red Sea is going to be uh, occupying this uh, particular area here. And uh, there is a little bit of uh, presence here from Team Padumadu. Uh, the Disciple will be bugging out though, but now it looks as though things are getting more heated in the apartment complex as we see that the push is coming in here. John C. Nobody going to finish off uh, Croft Razam now. And uh, looks like he's able to pick off three of the members just by himself there for the Quack Jr. players. But the last Quack Jr. player, Viper S here, is out for blood here. He, but he's going to have to face against the... Oh, it's just a smoke grenade here. As he is able to get ahead of that. And um, he's going to try and see whether or not he can actually set up any trap himself. But now, don't see nobody going to finish him off. And that's going to be it for Quack Jr. here. As they are the first team to go out in this game here in... Um, 20th position. Now, elsewhere, we do see that there are going to be uh, quite a few people here uh, looting up here. They are spread out here in this region, and the central region actually, and uh, all, we see Team Suicide going all the way to the Melted Power region. So they actually quite uh, separated here, uh, but not too, not too bad. They should be able to get a little bit of uh, looting face here, but Don Pablo here is all the way by himself. Now, we already see military base is not really heating up to be the, the hotspot that we thought it would be as uh, Team Quacker already disengaging from this area here. Now, they do actually still have two of their players in the control tower, and they have to contend with the rest of Bungie Nun Gaming here. Now, let's see what happens uh, from that part, but now we will be seeing that uh, um, the circle will be on the move soon. Dream Team is going to have to make their move. Allens is uh, finally uh, connected or no, no longer AFK here. So that's going to be a, a big bone, boon to him as well. Uh, meanwhile, we will be seeing that there are others who are even going further out of the circle. k -Bite's going out for a drink coffee first as well. Now, um, Feed, uh, feed and Feed is going to just, just basically be staying in Pachinki for the time being. They will be able to loot up the whole of that place here. Um, Omnidine and the rest of um, his squad here. This is uh, Elliot's Revenge. Uh, looks as though Elliot not, no longer playing with Red Sea in this game. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, let's see, for... For Red Sea, Red Sea, Red Sea, Red Sea. Rain Zera is back in for them. So he wasn't in for round number one here, but he should be able to show what he's got for this particular game. Now, elsewhere, uh, we already see MBT moving a little bit uh, south here after they've been looting up this region here to the north, uh, west, uh, northeast of the apartment complex. And uh, other teams are still very much spread out in Yasnaya. We already see that uh, there is a little bit of movement here coming out from... Um, 
what is it, Model Esport, as well as the you know, Team Padu Madu guys, um, they are a little bit congregated at the moment, should be able to fend off any uh, potential aggression here. But again, these guys are just inside the circle here, so it shouldn't offer too many problems for their rotation here. Now, we will start to see this whole center region here starting to be... Um, completely populated here now especially we already see undisputed still hanging around this region here they're probably going to wait and see what's going to actually happen before um for the next phase of the circle before they actually decide uh to move to another location as it could still very much fall onto the military island it actually still covers a significant portion of that um but of course it's going to be more mostly over here and uh, not likely to fall further south so of course there is a possibility so that's why they're staying uh close to the bridge here not only that but there was koyak gaming who stole their vehicle right at the start oh no sorry it was actually uh drink coffee first team koyak actually going all the way to to primors so they should be in for a, a decent time here not too bad now the split here for uh team quacker here is still ongoing here as they look to push out from both sides uh, but it looks as though the the team members here uh from bungie nun gaming here are just trying to put some hurt at long range off i'm taking a one hit here from kny god so uh ooh, he's got the nice uh shroud m16 skin there so uh looking pretty snazzy thinking of getting one myself um see how that one turns out and uh afam trying to deploy some smokes as he tries to get further away here but he's in full view for budgie nun gaming and uh he takes a few more hits and only reduced down to half-life for the time being but he ooh, takes another big hit and uh he should be able to oh abang long able to get the headshot on him at the last moment there so he's going to go down skyrex trying to return fire here onto kny god uh, but not sure that he's going to be able to do too much with that. MBT here uh, currently going to be in vision of uh, the rotation coming in from Bursatu Powerhouse. Should be okay. He does manage to escape just in time. Red Sea is disengaging from the Rozog area here as they start to move in. Uh, we already see Feed and Feed occupying the, the very uh, top of this uh, hill here. But now it looks like um, there's a little bit of uh, problems here for MBT here as they have only one of their players, Rexen, over here. I think he was a little bit AFK or uh, disconnected at the start of the game. So he actually had to make do with uh, the situation as best that he can. Now he is going to have to uh, face this 2 on one is going to be a four on one situation now but we already see that the rotation from red sea here facing a lot of resistance here as they pop up on top of this hill here rain's there taking a little bit of damage so does haha -ha goose but they will be uh bugging out a little bit here but rain's there is already on the ground here he knocks down brennan and uh he is looking for the other team members but he will get that confirmed kill here and uh he might decide to bug out as he knocks down Brax as well and he's able to Knocked down Vine as well, so excellent play from Rainzera here. So really holding the four. Only Kasake is left up for feed and feed here. And uh, the rest of Red Sea come to support the teammate now as they look to put a stranglehold onto this position here as they've almost wiped out the entirety of uh, feed and feed. So Kasake going to bug out here and uh, try and live to see another day. Now, meanwhile, we will be seeing that others are going to be making their uh, rotations as well. I think we see already... Ellens has ma managed to run all the way to North Shore, so he's got some a pair of legs on him. And uh, tea over coffee here uh, for the uh, for the model no Elliot's revenge team as they look to to meet up here. Uh, elsewhere, we see that this region is starting to get increasingly crowded here, and the avenues for rotation are fast uh, closing here. So um, these teams are going to have to play it very carefully here, as things get incredibly stacked in the center of the map. Darka is also facing some shots here from MBT, as they are trying to put the hurt onto uh, Drink Coffee first. Now, not able to make enough connections there, to be worthwhile, but it looks like... Uh, Kasake here is going to do a little bit of, uh, of shots as well at uh, Darkus, but not able to take him down either. Uh, man, remember, he is the last player for um, Feed and Feed after they did actually uh, lose three of their team members in that exchange with Red Sea. So Rain Zera able to get three packs there in that particular fight here. So looking pretty good for him. And uh, meanwhile, we already see that uh, Team Quacker here duking a gun with uh, Bungie Nun. Uh, gaming here as uh, they are currently occupying this uh, control station here. Modi is going to flank onto the right side. See here whether he can get uh, a shot onto uh, Uplux here, who is peeking around the right side. 
but they don't have a lot of space behind there and the push is starting to come out as uh, more nades go flying here now the nade bounces off the thing here and uh, Mahdi will come around. Cleoflux getting the knock here and uh, Mahdi gonna knock down Skyrex here and take out Frozen as well. So Mahdi picking up uh, another two kills to add to his one. He will be able to get the res off onto uh, Fleofux as well. So that's gonna be it for Team Quacker here as uh, they did have that awkward 2-2 split which did put them in a little bit of trouble um, when they actually wanted to try and meet up there. Of, um, of course getting picked off at longer ranges earlier on. In intras uh, Pam here for uh, Team Padu Madu as they still are duking it out with our round one chicken dinner winners here of Model Esports. So Model Esport are uh, already starting to take damage from the blue here as uh, the second circle has shifted all the way towards the eastern side here. So everyone is going to move a little bit from this southern region. There are still a lot of places to occupy in this region that they haven't uh, actually seen too many teams decide to go for it um i think we will be able to see a lot of them actually start to rotate in here now others are going to be keep, uh, moving in with their rotation and given the timing of this um does allow these teams to rotate not just one phase but two phases at once and the benefit of that is that you want to try and reduce the number of rotations that you do otherwise it's going to actually uh, elevate the amount of risk that your team is exposed to and uh, it's all about mi minimizing risk here when it comes to actual tournaments it is going to be very much about the uh, the consistency for teams here so consistently staying alive is an important feature here Rainzera leading the way here for uh, Red Sea here and K bites here all alone by himself and he's going to get ambushed here and run over by Papa Zaya here as he meets his end here and drink coffee first are another player down here or rather one player down here to be uh, more precise here Omnidyne for uh, Model Esport as, oh no not Model Esport Elias Revenge here uh, they, as they start to bug out here Kasaki not able to pick up another kill and things are getting increasingly congested here in the center of the map guys Red Sea here uh, after occupying this high ground here they are going to put the hurt onto all these rotations coming out here Kasaki is in the shack there and uh, the other members of Drink Coffee first not w wanting to meet the same fate that Red Sea is willing to dole out to them uh, in this stage of the game here as they do want to try and solidify this compound further south of their position. Now others are making their way in here as well. We already see Team 1 here occupying the farm area which could be increasingly congested here. And now Team Suicide here trying to push into this area here which is uh, currently occupied by the team members from Team AG here. They are going to breach here. And uh, try and find the, uh, the the two players that are currently in the top floor here. Now, I do think that... Oh, the other two members are just not around them at the moment here. So now they are trying to get those nades in. Try and spot out where the team members are. They do know that there is someone inside. And so, oh, the nade from Winter is good as Emandu goes down. And Winter is able to finish it uh, and take out two of the players from FFG. So FFG down to two players here as Shazwan as well as... Um, as well as uh, MX518 he is currently occupying this building at the moment and uh, currently not a lot of teams here but there are quite a few compounds here that could be taken Koya finally coming in from the Primor side but phase 2 is on the move here we see Dream Team here taking a bit of damage here from the blue other teams have managed to come down uh, we already see that this is going to be team Padu Madu as they disengage with their battle with um, Model Esport but they are all sharing one vehicle for all these uh, teams here so it could be uh, a very dire situation but now Kasake trying to duel with Darkas here from um, Drink Coffee first as the last team member from Feed and Feed. Now he's trying to just scout out and uh, see what other kills that he can potentially pick off here. But I don't think he's going to leave that check anytime soon here. But now Red Sea uh, engaging here with the team members of Team AG and they are able to knock down uh, Holy here. But not before uh, one of the players is downed here as uh, they deploy the smokes. Actually, both teams deploying the smokes to try and get their players up. NRL will be rest by Rain Zera. Um, but now we, there is quite a spread. Oh no, not Rain Zera. Um, by Haha Goose. But now Rain Zera is coming up here. He does manage to get the elimination onto uh, Dreams this here. And uh, he is looking for any of the players to actually retreat from the smoke here. But he actually spots uh, Rave Chow who on the edge over here on the, the left flank. And, uh, try and make it as difficult as possible for him to uh, try and assist his teammates here. But Papa Zayed will get uh, picked off by um, 
Triest here, as uh, he actually needs to be res as well now. Now the nade will be coming out, but uh, unfortunately they have moved outside the smoke here. But Triest is still knocked down by Rain Zera as he picks him off. But he does have uh, Nine Holy, who is coming around the side here and able to knock down Rain Zera. And uh, that's going to be it for him there, as he's not able to add to his... Uh, I think five kills already in this game here, as he did get that early knock there. And uh, now we already see Undisputed here, duking it out with uh, Model Model Esport as they're in trouble here. And they get eliminated after their rotation goes horribly wrong with the one vehicle at their disposal. Now, we already see that uh, Team AG here starting to put some back onto Red Sea as they take out NRL. Now, Papa Zayat is back up here. Nine Holy is on the left flank here, while Rape Chow is on the right. But they do have a little bit of terrain cover here as they move back towards the shack and decide how they're going to deal with this potential situation. But now it's six gaming here, putting pressure onto uh, the team members of uh, Undisputed here as Ace already goes down to Hunter's crew. Now, I'm Cold Blood getting third party, in fact, as he was trying to press the issue, as uh, there is a dream team who is over there to the the western side of uh, their current position here, but they're going to have to move. The next circle has shifted a bit south here, and looks like uh, it will just cover the members of Bungie Nun Gaming here. But they are going to face off with uh, MBT as well as um, oh Papa Zayat getting knocked down but and eliminated by Rave Chow. So. Um, yeah, there's MBT as well as uh, Bursatu Powerhouse in this region here. Now, one trying to get the last member for Red Sea here as Ahagus takes a lot of damage here. Um, and uh, the finishing touches Trust trying to come out here from Kaxis, but not able to catch him. Ahagus abandons his vehicle as he tries to stay alive. He just manages to get inside this hat shack just like Kasake, and he, he's pretty much going to hold up there. But I think Kasake has upgraded. He's managed to pay higher rent here as he's able to occupy this tower at the moment. But now we will be seeing um, oh more rotations here, this time from uh, six, six uh, Gaming here as they take the hits from Kasake. And they're going to try and... Uh, get the drop onto him. He is occupied in the uh, downstairs area here and the nade comes out, but Kasake able to knock him down. He has just a, a little bit of health. Hunter's crew throwing in the nade here and uh, he's gonna finish off Kasake here. He should be able to get his teammate up as uh, this structure should be offering a uh, significant uh, improvement. But now we see Abang Long just trying to disable the vehicles of MBT here, who are just going to stay in that um, bunk or the house like it's a bunker for the time being here. Now we see I'm Cold Blood going down to Darkus now as uh, the team members of Drink Coffee First are deciding to to clean up onto this side here as uh, Team AG still occupies the high ground and should offer a very good field of vision for them as they try to spot out these rest of the teams. But they are on the edge of the circle. This next phase could actually be a little bit detrimental for them as. Um, we know that there will be a lot of restrictions for them uh, when they actually uh, need to start moving down here as their presence is well known by Drink Coffee First. Others are staying put, they have occupied their relevant zones here. But once this next zone is going to reveal itself, then they are going to make their move. But Hayuma able to knock down uh, Mahdi here as he gets the flank of them, uh, who are currently all occupying that uh, gas station here. But with that concrete barrier there, it's going to make it increasingly difficult for them to actually move around. But he is a little bit separated here as Zero Fragger also trying to get a good flank here. Um, while well, Mahdi is trying to get into a position to get flanked or um, to uh, avoid getting flanked and getting res. But now the circle has shifted up to the north side here, favoring uh, Team 1 as well as the... No, this is not this is Elliot's revenge, and uh, on the edge here we still have Team Suicide who have been uh, relatively quiet here as this has been uh, not very heavily populated area in Milta. We do have uh, Qwerty over here, while we have uh, Team Padu Padu um, occupying this uh, eastern edge, but not yet getting inside this zone. So that's going to be interesting to see how that develops here. But now Shaz1 and MX518 here uh, trying to put up some fire on Sequoia Gaming here. But uh, Shaz1 only having a, a UMP at his disposal, not going to be the most effective uh, long range weapons here. But they have done a lot of chip damage. MX518 uh, also uh, trying to do what he can to put a little bit more pressure onto them. We already see that Dream Team here under a lot of pressure from uh, Rosek. Rosex D here as he tries to navigate through this uh, region as well. But now Rosex D will try and uh, um, see whether or not he can get a better angle here and put some more pressure here. But now we already see that uh, smokes are coming out here. That's Shaz1 and MX518. Uh, 
are putting more hurt onto uh, Koyak Gaming here. Get able to get a knock here, but it looks as though like they're engaging with Dream Team as well as they take out Savior. But now they are uh, advancing on this position, but Dream Team opting to go all the way through here, and uh, they should be able to, to get through. But Alan's here under a lot of pressure now from Darkas as he tries to get the angle on him. Ooh, getting a lot of damage off as well. So Alan's going to have to heal up there. I'm not sure whether or not he's going to be able to meet up here. As things are going to look incredibly congested inside the circle, guys. We do see that uh, the team members of Bursatu Powerhouse are pushing into uh, the team Padu 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 Madu actually. And... Uh, there's a lot of open ground, not a lot of cover here as they are trying to get that good spread here, but it is a little bit narrow for actually both of these teams. And uh, now Inter, Intras, uh, Intras Pam going down here from the sustained fire from the full squad of uh, Bursatu Powerhouse as they start advancing here. But they have to actually contend with uh, a number of teams here as uh, Alan's actually trying to run the gauntlet here. Now he should... Uh, be getting through here surprisingly as he did face a lot of fire he ran through like so many teams in that instance now this is team QWERTY here as they are moving in from the south uh, east and uh, interest Pam just getting res by uh, his teammates for team Padu Madu but now Caxis here uh, will be uh, taking out Cheesy Coca and uh, that's going to be it for uh, for him uh, as uh, one player less for Bursatu Powerhouse now they're going to have to be mindful the other three players are in a position to uh, try and prevent this further here but now Koyak Gaming having rotated all, all the way to the other side here is now putting the hurt onto FFG for a change as um, they actually have to move towards them to get inside the zone MX518 already being knocked down here in this instance but now we will see that uh, ooh, Hunter's crew down as well Dream Team holding up this in this compound here, but now the farm is quite spread out here. So the danger will of course be for whether or not uh, any of the players go down. They won't be able to get the res off here. But Buxy's Jr. here getting knocked down by Kane Y God with the M24. Um, he's just trying to confirm the kill here. Apparently, sending target is a lot easier. So uh, six kills already to uh, Bungie Nun uh, Gaming here. Uh, they are trying to put more pressure here. Now, Siu Park Choi and the rest of uh, Team Suicide over here also trying to shoot south as they try and prevent further entry into the circle here um, and really put the hurt onto the team core team, uh, team members. But zone is uh, going to reveal itself and it looks like it's going to shift a little bit, a uh, bit more north here. So, uh, farm complex still very much inside the zone. But Texas, Jacob, Jacob, and uh, John C. Nobody are a little bit separated here, so gonna be a little bit awkward for them. But Kax is trying to put up the uh, long range fire onto uh, Crown TV for uh, Team Padu Madu. He's getting away just in the nick of time here, but uh, he is moving straight towards Hahagus. So Hahagus has to be careful here as he has to try and uh, watch for this uh, potential. Oh wow, but he's able to still catch him even though he was hiding behind the, the barrels there. His helmet a little bit uh, camouflaged, so he's going to say not in my house. And uh, now we will be seeing that the circle is going to be closing in in uh, just a little bit, guys. And uh, it's going to put the strain on all these teams here as they have to start pushing into this uh, complex here. And um, I think the southern... Uh, complex of the farm here will be a prime spot for some of these southern teams here as Dream Team is currently uh, a little bit separated here as they are trying to move in but uh, they are trying to advance on this position but Sly DD will be left here all by himself in the shack here so I think it's only a matter of time before he gets a uh, finish off as the rest of the team members from uh, Koyak Gaming here trying to put the hurt onto him but, but it looks like Sly DD able to catch him through the window there as uh, they start to advance on this position. I call Joe now going to try and finish off Sly DD, but Sly DD coming up big here as he finished off two of the members while Mock is uh, finished off by Hunter's Crew. So a nice uh, favor there from that little bit of third party action. KNY got just going to try and stay alive here as uh, there is still uh, Mako Bosia here. Tossing out the nade, but it looks like it will be a smoke grenade instead here. Now Cleoflux able to confirm the kill, and that's going to be it for uh, Team QWERTY here. Now, Team 1 here still going strong. They haven't taken a lot of damage here, but they are starting to ex exert that map control here as they prevent other teams from moving in. But Dream Team has uh, occupied the southern complex here with Allens and Hi Haikazi? 
Haikazi with Sly DD coming up with the rear. But now we will be seeing that the circle is going to be about closing here. And uh, Elias Revenge occupying the northern region as they prevent others from moving in. Team AG over here and uh, Team Suicide over here. Rozak D now facing a lot of problems here. John C. Nobody getting the kill steal from uh, Team AG here. And uh, Nine Holy not going to be uh, happy with that one. And uh, now Jacob Jacob going to try and set his sights on the southern region here. Now there are the buildings on the south of them which is currently occupied by Dream Team which could be a bit problematic if the circle shifts north because they are just going to move straight through them as uh, 6 Gaming here will offer uh, a number amount of resistance here but now the circle has shifted all the way over here to the western side and uh, now all these teams are going to have to move. Almost nobody is currently in here but Jacob Putting more hurt onto the other players here, but Don Pablo able to knock down K and Y God. So he goes down for a budgie, budgie non gaming. And uh, now Team 1 here will be doing their own thing. Other, other teams are moving around, but we do already have Drink Coffee first. We're just going to occupy that position, but Rave Chow able to get the knock onto Snazu here. And uh, he will spot uh, Darkas as well, uh, if not mistaken. But Darkas is popping out here. He doesn't see him um, just uh, peeking out of the tree. So, um, but anyways, for the time being, uh, they are just going to hold up onto this hill here and just uh, take it easy. They can easily transition in, but they have to be careful of Elias Revenge here at the moment. But now, it seems as though that Dream Team is in full vision and got the full attention of Team 1 here as they take out one of the players from Dream Team. Now, KNY got able to get the headshot onto Caxis here. So, uh, he's going to go down here and uh, I don't think there's going to be any way for his teammates to help him. So... That um, that fear that everyone had finally came true here, and they won't be able to really save here. Uh, but now uh, we see Elias Revenge advancing up the hill here. Uh, Nine Holy going to be uh, just uh, above here as he's going to hear all this going on here. He's going to get Kin God down straight away. Tea over coffee doesn't see him. He gets shot in the back here, and I don't think he knows what's happening just yet. And uh, Nine Holy having enough time to reload here as he tries to put pressure. Rave Chow coming in from the side here as he and. Uh, Nine Holy combined to knock down Omnidine as well, so leaving only Elliot. But Elliot gets third party by Siupak Choi, and uh, that's going to be it. So Team Suicide able to claim the last kill on Elliot's Revenge. So uh, now we do have uh, Flea Flux expiring outside the zone here. So that's going to be it for Bajinan Gaming here as they get finished out here. Uh, not able to finish off their push. Six Gaming still in this tower here. But Hunter's crew is moving around this side here as Alan's is starting to set his sight on him. Now, Alan's will be uh, trying to put uh, further pressure. But now, uh, Hunter's crew is actually pretty close here. But I think uh, Alan's knows what's up here. Uh, unfortunately, I think he doesn't have any uh, frag grenades left here. So... Going to put that smoke wave for the time being here, but he catches a glimpse there. But now we already see that uh, Hunter's crew, um, or rather uh, Team 1 here, is going to try and uh, resist the advancement from the rest of uh, Dream Team here. John C. Nobody with 11 or 8 kills for a total of 11 for his team so far. So looking pretty good, but the circle is putting more pressure here. Rave Chow finally goes down here as uh, we see John C. Nobody trying to put on more pressure onto the guys from Dream Team. Sly DD uh, still looking pretty uh, solid here as he looks to add to his kill total fight. The zone is here. There's a lot of damage being dealt to Allen's and Sly DD. They have to come through this area here. They got no choice but uh, Allen's going down here. But now Sly DD actually thinks that uh, John C. Nobody is upstairs but he's now taking a lot of fire here but he doesn't uh, realize that John C. Nobody can just peek out over the top here but next circle has revealed itself is currently not favoring anyone Sly DD going to go for the daring uh, res onto Allen's here but now it looks like Tupac Choi and the rest of uh, Team Suicide going to spot out uh, the rest the two members from Drink Coffee first as they try to get Don Pablo back up Jenks uh, getting eliminated earlier on and now it's uh, going to be back to a three on two battle in this northern region now Andy BG is going to be the last player here as uh, there is no more presence here coming from um, uh, I think it was um, Hunter's crew as he gets uh, eliminated but oh Alan's getting caught out by John C nobody so John C nobody just going to pop off the heel here but it looks like uh, third party shots from Don Pablo and get Sly DD so John C nobody will get another kill so nine kills so far for him so he's having a, a monster of a game here but now Don Pablo also putting up some shots onto the other squad members of uh, first drink coffee first as they decide to make their move as they deploy the utility available to them to try and get out but Andy BG is going to be caught out in the open here and uh, the rest of um, 
uh, Team Suicide gonna try and posture a little bit. Darkas moving down to the left side and Snazu uh, still maintaining the high ground here as uh, they move closer towards the circle to prevent further advancement. But at the, in the southern region, I think, ooh, Winter just waiting for the nice shot onto uh, Darkas. But Andy BG will be claiming the solos uh, challenge over there as he takes out the last member from Team 1 here. So... John see nobody not able to add to his massive kill total so far, but Andy BG now making things difficult here. Winter doesn't have a helmet there, so a nice shot could work out for him. Andy BG has a nice uh, smoke train going here, and uh, it looks set to continue in very Ibiza-esque style here. But now Sio Park Choi and uh, Don Pablo moving in. Snazu gonna go for uh, some stealthy play here as he tries to prime a nade here and try and get a, a lucky res or lucky knockdown here. Sio Park Choi almost going down here and uh, only a sliver of health remaining here as he advances. Andy BG also gonna put the hurt onto Don Pablo. Um, Siu Pak Choi able to pull off the heal as well, but looks like Andy BG will be going prone here for this phase of the game. But now and uh, Snasu will see whether or not him and Andy BG could combine to actually take down uh, Team Suicide in this fight here. Don Pablo doesn't have a helmet. One look, one look, good shot could actually take him down here. But uh, Snasu going to take his time as well. I think he's waiting to see where the other player is. I think um, all their attention is really focused onto Angie BG at the moment here. But they can't really see him as he's still got that Ibiza train smoke going on over the at the moment. But now, uh, it looks as though he's actually just trying to shoot out into the open here as he tries to... Uh, distract the players a little bit but Snasu is gonna wait and see for this fight to turn out I think he can guess what's happening here he knows ex exactly where the the shots are coming from here so he's gonna let uh, the advancement come over here Siupak Choi and uh, Don Pablo won't know for sure here uh, exactly how many people are left uh, in this team here, but they are putting a lot of shots onto Andy BG here, so the ball will be in Snazu's court here. He will be looking to probably get a, a quick down knock here uh, from the prone position. Now, Don Pablo will just be boosting up here, and uh, they do have the circle at the moment, so the snaking will continue here as they look to try and prevent Snazu from getting in further. Of course, the vision here. Very terrible uh, at close ranges here, where the the full foliage will be uh, shown by the game at the moment. So Snazu going to use that as much to his advantage as possible. But he is on the edge of the circle here. If he doesn't move, he's going to get all caught by the blue. Now things are looking increasingly difficult for him. Yes, Don Pablo and Super Troy will be moving around to get him. And Don Pablo gets the final shot onto him with the headshot. And um, that's going to be it for this round number two, guys, as Team Suicide is able to take the chicken dinner here and turning out eight kills. So good performance from them as they controlled very much the um, eastern and northeastern side of the circle there and able to come down from the high ground and uh, take those fights there. But Snazu not taking those uh, clear shots onto them as he did want that fight to actually uh, turn out there. So that's going to be it for Drink Coffee first uh, as they finish in second place with two kills there. And uh, in third place, we had six gaming there as Andy BG did manage to put up uh, a little bit of resistance towards the end there. Um, but Hunter's crew getting taken down after he was assaulting the position occupied by Dream Team and uh, and uh, one team one, and uh, in fourth position, John C. Nobody leading the way with nine kills here. After he was able to use his uh, building to maximum effect, of course, team one did have that uh, central farm compound and were really controlling the zone there. But eventually, they did have to move out there. And I think, um, given the the high ground advantage that we saw, team suicide had, uh, it was going to always make it increasingly difficult. But uh, now in fifth position is going to be. Um, a dream team as we did see Allen's and Sly DD try to carry with it but they face a few too many angles there and we're not able to do anything about it there so um, that's going to be it for round number two guys so when we come back we will bring you round number three on Miramar for the battle arena scrims for tonight so thanks for watching you're on play of the J and we'll see you back in just a bit <laughs> 